Today's question comes from Phoenix, Arizona. Ben asks, how can I guest blog without it looking like I pay for links? Okay, that's a fun question. So let's talk about, um, for example, whenever we get a spam report and we dig into it in the manual web spam team, usually there's a pretty clear distinction between you know an occasional guest blog versus someone who is doing large scale pay for links kinds of stuff. So what are the different criteria on that uh, spectrum? So you know, if you're paying for links, it's more likely that it's an off topic or an irrelevant blog post that doesn't really match the subject of the blog itself. It's more likely you'll see the keyword rich anchor text, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, whereas a guest blog, it's more likely to be hopefully someone that's expert. You know, there will usually be something that's a, a, a paragraph there that talks about who this person is, why you invited them to be on your blog. Uh, you know, hopefully the guest blogger isn't dropping keywords in their anchors nearly as much as, you know, these, these other sorts of methods of generating links. So uh, it is interesting because in all of these cases you can see a spectrum of quality, right? You can have paid links with, you know, buy, online, you know, buy cheap Viagra, all that sort of stuff. Uh, you can have article marketing where somebody doesn't even have a relationship with the blog and they just write an article, 500 words or whatever, and they embed their keyword rich anchor text in their bio or something like that. And then you've got guest blogging, which uh, you know can be low quality, and frankly, I think there's been a growth of low quality guest blogging recently. Uh, or it can be higher quality stuff, where someone really is an expert and you really do want their opinion on something that's especially interesting or relevant to your blog's audience. And so there is this spectrum, and we, and we look at those kinds of criteria when we try to distinguish whether something is organic or not, whether something really deserves to be uh, you know, considered high quality or whether it's more likely to be spam. So um, one note of caution I would advise is it feels like a lot of people, you know, guest blogging seems like it's uh, the fad of the, the month a little bit because we do hear a lot of people who are complaining about tons of people just spraying and praying, you know, sending out invitations. I'm going to guest blog on all these different things and sometimes they're spinning their, their guest blogs. They're not even writing unique content for each blog. Uh, and I don't think that that's the best way to build links to your site. And so I, I wouldn't recommend that as a tactic. Um, guest blogging is probably the sort of thing that you should be thinking about doing in moderation. It shouldn't be your full-time job going around find people that you, you know, can I borrow your soapbox and climb up on it and talk for your few little bits and then also embed some links back to my blog. If that's all you're doing, then that's probably not the best way to build reputation to your website. So, but that's a little bit of the criteria and, and usually uh, I was talking with uh, someone right before we taped this video and usually it's pretty clear cut, you know, the sorts of things that are paid links versus guest blogs. Whereas if you're doing a guest blog that gets pretty close to what looks like paid links, then that might be the sort of thing where we decide we don't want to count those links regardless. Hope that helps.